Well, tonight we are taking a moment to remember a true preserver of East Tennessee history. Six on your side's Wes Cooper talking with a family member of John Rice Irwin's to learn more now about the Museum of Appalachia founder. Wes? Bo, John Rice Irwin passed away over the weekend. He was 91 when he passed away, leaving behind a legacy that is sure to live on for years to come. Some say a new angel is dancing in heaven. There's a little bit of a slow deterioration, so I mean, he's definitely in a better place now, though. John Irwin was a lifelong curious East Tennessean. He taught in schools, but also at the same time went to collect all these artifacts. A little bit like Indiana Jones. Irwin spent his life not only building his own legacy, but a place where people all over the world could see and feel his heritage. He opened the Museum of Appalachia in 1969 after his family encouraged him to look deeper into his past. And he started in the 1960s with a cabin and with uh, you know artifacts that he collected from throughout the hills and hollers of southern Appalachia. You know, filled them in his cabin and then people started stopping by and he started charging a nominal fee and then after that it just grew and grew. In the first year about 600 people visited the museum. Currently tens of thousands come yearly to take a step back in history. Now there's 35 authentic log cabins including Mark Twain's family cabin and um, you know we have a quarter of a million artifacts in three different buildings and you know it's a Smithsonian affiliate now it's really just his vision that you know he helped to fulfill throughout his life and now it's just this massive operation. Will Meyer serves as the marketing director at the museum. He says he would tag along with his granddad on some of his artifact hunts when he was a kid and Irwin was a great communicator. He taught me respect uh, of people from all walks of life. And so we would also travel to some of the poorest, most remote places in the country. And, you know, he treated them with the same respect that he treated, you know, presidents that he met. Irwin was also the youngest school superintendent in Tennessee. He was elected to serve as the head of Anderson County Schools in 1962 when he was just 31 years old. Irwin also served in the Army during the Korean War. Bill. All right, Wes, thank you. You know, John Irwin will be laid to rest this week. The Museum of Appalachia will be hosting a celebration of life ceremony Sunday at 2 o'clock.